Hi, I'm Chris Miles, licensed clinical social worker and member of the Motivational Interviewing Network of Trainers. I wanted to talk about the process of engagement. And when we're trying to engage with someone, connection, rapport, it's often important to evoke empathy, especially when we have clients that may not be our favorite to work with, that can be difficult or challenging, and it can be hard to formulate that connection. So empathy is different than sympathy. People often think they're interchangeable or synonymous, and there's really a lot of distinction between the two. So sympathy is really um, involving like this understanding from your own perspective. So viewing the circumstances from your perspective where empathy requires you to really put yourself in that client's shoes. View the situation as if they were viewing it. What would it be like for them? Sympathy often involves feelings of sorrow or pity. And oftentimes people don't want to be pitied. Empathy involves feelings of connection it really um, it requires you to view the situation as if that experience were your own. What is it like from that client's perspective? This requires a really a level of vulnerability because it requires you to connect with an emotion that is similar or the same as what that client is experiencing. And so you have to tap in to that connection with your emotions. Sympathy can create this power differential. If somebody is feeling pitied, they may feel like that person believes that they're in a better situation than them or they're better off. And so there can be this dynamic shift that really fosters disconnection. So sympathy can foster disconnection Empathy is really what fosters that connection and sense of engagement. So I invite you to kind of think more deeply about this difference. Both are coming from a good place, a caring place, right? A helping place, but the distinctions are important. So I will leave you with that to ponder more. Thank you for spending your time with me today.